Hi, Michelle here with Dreaming English, and today is April 20th, 2020, and it's actually a holiday in the state of Massachusetts. And what does that mean? It's the holiday called Patriots Day. And you can see a picture of the state of Massachusetts right up here. So not all of the United States, picture of the United States, not all the United States has this holiday, only Massachusetts, so one state. And why is that? Well, Patriots Day is a special day um, where we commemorate the opening battle of the American Revolutionary War, which actually was April 19th, 1775. And for the entire weekend and the first Monday, usually it's, it's April 19th, but we're celebrating April 20th because we always celebrate it on the Monday of that particular, it's usually the third week of April and we celebrate it on the Monday. So we will have lots of different activities. There'll be reenactments. Unfortunately, all of those things have been canceled because of coronavirus. So this would be a reenactment here you can see there's um, people dressed up as British soldiers. They have their, their hair in the white wigs and the hats. And we have the British officers in the red over here. Um, and the ones that would have been the American revolutionary soldiers would have been in the brown. They would have been dressed up as brown because this was when war changed around this um, first changed in the French Revolution, where instead of marching and announcing yourself and just all marching together and shooting each other, the idea was instead, let's hide behind trees and let's kind of dress up, like let's dress in brown, let's dress in green, and let's hide behind trees so that way the enemy doesn't just see us and shoot us, right? So that was like the beginning of this new idea that really wasn't done before because when they had wars, they would all march and they'd be having the drums and they would be announcing and pretty much just walking into each other. So this was a different kind of war and that's one of the reasons why we were so few, but we won against all these British soldiers because we hid behind things. So this happened in Lexington and this is a statue in Lexington and I live in the middle of Massachusetts. Again, here's Massachusetts and Boston. I live about an hour, so I live in the middle and I live very close. I could drive over to Lexington. It would probably be, it would probably be about 40 minutes for me to drive over to Lexington. And if it was a normal day and we weren't having this stay at home orders and this quarantine, maybe I would drive and see the reenactments. And you can see the reenactments. We have people that will dress up like the British soldiers and they'll have their guns and they put gunpowder and they'll shoot them it's very, very loud. I remember when I brought my kids when they were little, they had to hold their, their ears because it's very, very loud. Um, but you can see they're shooting off and you can see all the smoke right, um, right here. Right here is all the smoke from the gunpowder and they have parades. So another thing they would have is the British soldiers and the American Revolutionary soldiers that would be parading down the main street. And you can see people sitting along the sides and they have the, so there's people walking along. I mean, there's people marching along the main street and people sitting and they have their American flags, like the flag on my shirt. And again, all of that is not happening this particular Patriots Day because of the coronavirus. We are at home. We are not in Lexington. And all of these parades are not happening. But I wanted to share with you a little bit about the history of my state and the history of where I live. So hope that you like that. Um, do you have any similar type of celebrations for independence where you live? If you do, please let me know in the comments below and please subscribe to our channel and like this video. 
and thanks for watching.